Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of the Sispic Podcast with your host, Lexi James, aka your new virtual big sis. Now I'm sure I'm going to change that intro like 300 more times, so if you hear it different in each episode, don't mind it. Also, side note that I am like recovering from being sick for the past like month. I'm starting to wonder if I actually got COVID at one, of the t- at one point in it because my breathing is extremely bad like I literally cannot figure out like what happened but anyways so if you guys hear me breathing loudly I sound nasally that's why I'm sorry but I already had to push back the podcast like two weeks longer than the like original so I just like I can't do it. So in today's episode, it's kind of just going to be a little intro of why I started this podcast um, about my own family history a little bit. Um, Most of it's going to be talked about more later on in the podcast, but I just want to give a little bit of a backstory on like the reasons why I am so passionate about it. So with all that being said, let's get into the reasons why I even started this podcast. So the first main thing, so I pretty much thought of this idea about two, two and a half years ago. So anyways, I was having one of those little girl moments, probably was about to start my period, who knows, and I was laying in bed and I was just sitting there like really deeply thinking about how amazing my siblings are. And I just like got really deep into it. And I think it was because like maybe something had happened. I I think there was probably a situation maybe where I was thinking about it more deeply than normal, I guess. But I don't honestly know. And because like I said, it was like two and a half years ago. Anyways, I was laying there. I was like, wow, like, I don't know what I would do without them. Like, I literally don't know what I would do without my siblings. And I don't, I just don't even want to imagine it. And so then I sat there and I was like, wait, why don't I start a podcast about this? And then I was like, wait, there's probably literally 7 million other girl big sister podcasts. But then I looked and there's like really not. There's a lot of like episodes of like big sister advice. There's quite a few that are in different languages. Um, But there's not as many in the same niche as more so what I'm trying to do. Um, cause like, obviously like a lot of girl podcasts are like really can be big sister advice. Like I'm not saying that they aren't, but the difference is that I'm explaining straight up like sister perspectives and I'm also going to have guests on here with brother perspectives. And I think just having a bigger sibling, an older sibling is just so important. And I, I want to like go talk to schools and I want to do, like, I just want to do more of like, like, I just really want to be like your big sister. Like, if that makes any sense. I keep saying like, so I'm sorry. Anyways. So pretty much was sitting there. And decided that I was going to start it. So then I started, I wrote it in my notes. And I was like, big sister advice podcast, okay? And then I was sitting there trying to think of a name. And I was like, what could I name this? Because I don't want to name it big sister. Like, that's kind of lame. And then I was like, what if I just switch the words around and call it sis big? And I really thought, I'm not sure where I like I it just like clicked and I was like yeah that's gonna be it that's my that's my name so I wrote that down um I probably thought about the name like a week later and I had wrote probably 50 ideas in my phone note and I was like I'm gonna start this and of course I made like a million excuses and reasons on why I couldn't start my podcast at that point but I'm here today to quit making excuses and start the damn thing so I'm super excited. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of how 
the name came about and like why I kind of just was like, oh, wow, I should do that. Um, And then the more I thought about it also, um, I really realized that I've kind of always became a big sister to every younger kid that I've ever met. Like, I've never once been in the situation where I was like mentoring or teaching or helping a kid and they just never talked to me again. Like, I can almost say almost every single person has always reached out to me later on in life and been like, hey, this is happening. Can can you give me some advice about this? Hey, like, I just want to talk like you make you. I just want to talk through like what decisions I'm trying to make with my life. Like, could we go get lunch or like, can we go? Can we just go on a Sonic date? Like, hell yes. Hell yes, we can. And I think that just stems from me having a huge heart and me growing up in such a family that we are always, we got each other's back no matter what. And I'm already tearing up and this is bad because I already tried filming this earlier and my fo- my my camera died and I was like halfway bawling at that point. So I'm trying to not cry this time, but I'm like off my meds. So, um... Yeah, that is kind of that. Um, so now growing up, I had a lot of siblings. Um, I have three older siblings, two younger siblings. I've had step siblings. I've had foster siblings. I've had friends that became my siblings. I've had kids that I used to babysit become my younger siblings. It's always just been a thing where I've always just Like, we're always just instantly family. Like, I love to connect with people on a deeper level and be that person for them um, to come to when they don't want to talk about it to their parents. I think that's the main reason why it is so important to have siblings because talking to your siblings is so much easier than talking to your parents. And my parents always... My parents always told me, you can always tell me anything. I promise I won't ever disown you. I promise I won't ever hate you, no matter what it is. And obviously, I hear that and I get it. Like, I I believe it. But also, like, it's a lot easier to probably tell your sister that's, like, five years older than you, you know? And you probably don't feel as judged because, you know, you're in more of the same boat than, you know... 20, 30, 40 years older than you. And I think that's honestly the reason why it's just so much more comforting. Um, And also, your siblings can't ground you. Now, if they're snitches, they could definitely tell your parents and then you could get grounded. So be careful. But don't be a snitch unless it is a safety hazard. (laughs) Um, But if, like, you're trying to say, oh my god, I went and kissed a boy, do not go snitch on your sister or your brother to your mom leave it alone it is not worth it I promise you if it's deeper than that then you go tell them but if it's not you're fine promise you anyways so um I had three older siblings like I said I have a older sister um named Paige and I have an older brother named Anthony My older sister just turned 32 yesterday, and my older brother just turned, or no, he hasn't turned. He turns 32 in two weeks. And then my other sister, she just turned 31 last month, and her name is Kayla. Um, So the two older siblings are actually my half-siblings. And so I consider them like... I never, I'm never like, oh, they're my half sibling. Like, I never say that, but I feel like in this instance, it is important for me to say it because I think it is a key reason on certain things and how we adjusted. Um, so my brother, he, I was right, ra- I was raised with him. He lived with us in the house. My oldest sister, though, um, Paige, she actually was living in the town that I live in now when I was living eight hours away. <laughs> And she lived with her mom. Um, She would come down every once in a while. I was little, so I honestly don't remember much of it. 
And but then we got way closer when we got older. I would go visit her because she's always lived somewhere like super fun. Like I swear she's never lived somewhere boring in her life. Yeah. And then my sister Kayla, she was probably the one I was closest with, but also got the most fights with because she lived with me uh, for the longest because when she came back, so in high school, like we just argued, I'm not gonna lie. We just argued straight up. That's all we did when she was in high school. And I was like, I don't know, like 11 And I thought I was 20 years old. Um, But literally, but then she um, moved away for college and we'd go visit her all the time. And then she actually moved back and lived with us for a little bit while she was in college. And that is when me and her grew the the closest bond. She ended up moving to New Orleans a couple years after that. But, um, and actually moved to my other sister, Paige. So that's when I say like, we have a close knit like family. We do, um, like literally, me and my sister, the one that just said Kayla, um, me and her live together now. So super cool um, that you know, because not everyone gets along with their siblings. Some people don't even talk to their siblings. I really don't ever think they're trying to hurt you unless you're like fifteen and you guys are arguing about like who got the candy bar. Then you know, so be it, whatever. But anyways. Um, But yeah, I have to give a lot of props to my siblings because if I would have had older siblings, I promise you, I don't know what I would have done because when my parents used to fight before they got divorced, and I'm not saying this to like hate on my parents, and if you guys are listening, I'm not trying to like op you guys out right now, but it is part of the story. So (laughs) before my parents got divorced, they used to fight a lot. And my sister would always do whatever she could to get us out of the situation so that we didn't have to hear it. We didn't get the mental trauma from it. She always just took the rein and she would take us kids and she would go like bring us downstairs and watch a movie and we'd play like uh, we'd go make a blanket fort and we'd listen to the movie underneath the blanket because it was so that we couldn't hear the fighting. And I think that, like, if I wouldn't have had that, I probably would have a lot more issues um, if my sister wouldn't have protected us like that. And I, I this is where I started crying last time I filmed this. But um, I just think that I don't know what I would do without my older siblings. And they have taught me so many things. They've... Even if I've listened or if I haven't, I've ended up figuring it out. Um, And I just think that my sister taking the initiative, like as like a high schooler, to make sure us kids were good and that we weren't going to sit there and cry and be like, oh no, what's happening to mom and dad? She was like, you know, this sucks, but... I got to be the bigger person and I got to be there for my younger siblings. And I can't thank her enough for that because there's just a lot of things that would have happened without them. So if you're Kayla, if you're listening to this, I love you so much. And Paige and Anthony, I love you so much. You guys are awesome. But um, anyways, let me stop crying. Oh my god. I'm telling you, me not being on my meds has made me so emotional. <laughs> okay. Anyways, back to the... Back to the pod. Anyways. So, um, with that, all that being said, so I have three older siblings, and then I have two younger siblings. Kaz, who is 16, my little brother, he just got his license, and I'm telling you, it is literally insane. It is so weird to think that my brother can drive. The other day, he stayed at my house, um, and he was like, Lexi, do you want to go get food? And it was like 1030 on a school night. And I'm like, you know what? Like, you shouldn't be awake, but yes. He's like, I'll drive. And I'm like, that's like, like hearing, (laughs) hearing him say that makes me feel so damn old. I'm like, gosh. 
my little brother, my little, my little itty bitty brother, he can drive. And also in the last year, he's gotten taller than me, which is crazy because I've always been the tallest person in the family, taller than both my parents. Um, but yeah, he's officially taller than me. So he is 16, can drive and is taller than me. So he's definitely, uh, not really, he's like my big little bro. Because he's definitely bigger than me now. So, kind of crazy. Um, and then I have a little sister named Brooklyn. Um, and she is 13. I think she's 13. Brooklyn, if you're listening to this and I just said your age wrong, I'm sorry. I always get confused with her age, though. Yeah. Yeah, because I think she turns 14 this year. Anyways, I had no clue actually, but so I have those two siblings. So with all of that, um, there's a pretty big age gap between me and my older siblings. So I halfway through my life was the older sibling. So when my sister moved to New Orleans, I think I was in eighth grade. Um, so when she officially like moved out for the last time, um, I think I was in eighth grade. So then I was the big sister, um, eighth grade. And that's when my parents were going through their divorce. Um, freshman year of high school, um, I, we still lived in my small town. And then my sophomore year, we actually moved. And I, that's when I think I took my own big sister role really into place because, Moving to a town eight hours away from where you've grown up your whole life, your whole life is set, and one of your parents is going to stay in that town, and one of your parents is going to the new town with you. That's hard, and that's, like, one thing I get, like, a lot of kids, like, military kids, they move a lot. Some kids don't got two parents, but when you're when you're used to having two parents for so long, And then you don't, and then you only have, or two parents together, sorry. I'm making that sound, like, completely wrong. Um, But when you grow up with two parents together, and then all of a sudden they're not together, and you gotta go move eight hours away from one of them. That's hard. And that's super hard for young kids. And I was a little bit older, and I could understand a lot more than my two younger siblings could, but, like, my sister was, what, in... She was, like, nine, and my brother was, like, 12. Yeah, I think that's right. Anyway, so, somewhere, like, around there. That's, like, a lot. That's a big change. Going to new schools, meeting new friends. That all sucks. And trust me, I was nervous. I did not want to move at all. I wanted to stay in my town where it was comfortable, where it was good. But honestly, I can tell you that moving was probably the best thing that's ever happened. Not so- Okay. Probably not the best thing that's ever happened, but it was definitely a good, it was a good thing because I think we would have all been stuck in that town. We would have had the same crappy friends. We would have had the same drama filled, toxic little town, and we would not have grown to the people that we are now, including my siblings. Um, I think my brother, I think my brother would have been cool either way. My brother's just like big in his sports, so he's like sports is his whole life no matter what um but I think he got a lot more opportunities living in Lincoln um with different training different coaches different competition I think he just gets he got a lot more out of it with my sister I think she really opened up she met a really good group of friends um and then with me I don't think I would have been back to doing anything like this anymore um Growing up, I definitely started the YouTube channel when I was, like, 11. I had, like, I was honestly getting some good views. I had, like, my, like, what I got for my 12th birthday got, I think, like, 215,000 views on YouTube. Like, that's crazy. Like, why are you guys watching my what I got for my 12th birthday? That's, that's the weirdest video ever. And I'm sitting there, like, I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. Like, but... At that time, I was getting bullied so, 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 so bad. I ended up quitting everything and just kept getting bullied. 
I don't know why I, I should have just kept going because I was getting bullied no matter what, you know? And I, they would like play it on the screens. Like the teachers would let them play it on the screens and all make fun of me. I think that's literally insane. That it, that blows my mind, honestly. I don't want to talk too much crap about my small town. There's a lot of things that were great and there's a lot of things that weren't. And I just think for the type of person that I am, I would not have grown. I'm creative and it doesn't, uh, that town does not allow you to be creative. You know what? It doesn't matter. It does not matter because it definitely taught me to be the person that I am today. And yeah, so that's my, um, blood siblings, um, I have two best friends, Trace and Wulu, that I consider my brothers. Their whole family is actually my family. Their siblings are my siblings. Like, it's always been, we've just been a super close, close group. And I've always called them my older brothers. They're everything to me. Um, and I met them, actually. The Trayson. I met Trayson. The day before I actually moved to Lincoln. So I actually met him on Instagram before we moved. Or I think my stuff was already in Lincoln, but like I hadn't personally like went there yet. I'm not really sure exactly. I can't remember exact details, but I remember it was something like that. And they were the first people I met, first people I hung out with, and still probably one of the very few people I still hang out with. Um... They've just been there for me since the beginning, and I appreciate them and their families very much. And then I had a foster sister. That was an amazing experience, honestly. I mean, it's it's a challenging thing to do, especially when at the time it was one of my it was my friend that became my sister situation, and it was a lot harder because there's just things going into things that are hard. There's things that are hard and it's not hard. It's not easy for anyone. It's not easy for the family and it's not easy for the kid. And it's especially not easy for the kid because this is their life. That's what they're always going through. They're always going to a new family. They're always having to do this same process and it's just repetitive and it's terrible. And there's a lot of terrible foster families like, and Amila, if you're listening, I love you, and I want you on the pod, so text me, because I think that'd be a super cool episode, um, talking about that side of things, because she also still always stayed a great big sister for her blood siblings, even though they were separated, she did everything in her power to make sure that she could always be there for them, and I always applaud her for that I think that was amazing um so that's that um but yeah so that kind of shows quite a few of the reasons why I wanted to start all of this so um that is gonna be it for today's episode this was just a little intro to the pod and um, what you can watch the podcast on all streaming platforms, including YouTube. Um, if you want to watch the video instead of just listen, um, but don't forget to follow me on my Instagram sis big podcast to stay up to date with all of the updates and everything else about that. Um, Go do something kind today. Remember your acts of kindness. I always have them linked in my bio. So go do a random act of kindness today. And hug your siblings, please. Please. Anyways, I love y'all. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.